if you are stuck on level 10 like you know when you're playing super mario is that what it's called with the mar with the coins and stuff yeah so imagine you're playing mario run you're getting the coins you're achieving these little achievements but you're still can't beat level 10. okay i'm so excited for today's video i have missed you so so much i felt like i haven't been filming in ages but this video is going to be how to level up for real no jokes no phony stuff this isn't going to be a wake up at 5 a.m morning routine none of that none of that because we need to get to the nitty gritty what is leveling up really mean to you so it's easy and you're not overwhelmed because half of these videos on here are very overwhelming first off right off the bat leveling up keeps you young if you are stressed all the time and you're not improving in your life that is going to cause wrinkles babe we don't want to age we don't want to look crazy and aging like hello you know leveling up is the best form of botox and filler you can ever invest in leveling up will keep you young and glowy but the first tip i want to give you guys is your mindset now this is the only way you're truly 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 going to level up in life is through your mindset and your limiting beliefs because a lot of people on social media they love to portray leveling up as, you know, getting a new job, moving into a new house. They portray leveling up as material things. And ultimately, that is not the case. Because if you still have low self-esteem, you're still not confident, you still don't walk with your head held high, you still don't believe in yourself, those material things do not matter. If you cannot look yourself in the mirror and love yourself and have compassion for yourself, and believe that you are enough, babe, that new car does not mean nothing, okay? Your mindset is trash. Your mindset is trash, and that is why you keep repeating the same cycles and attracting the same people because your mindset sucks, and I'm here to help you. So basically, you need to remove any limiting beliefs that you have, and I know for a lot of us, it's human nature. It's going to be a tough journey it's going to require a lot of work so what helped me really remove my limiting beliefs was fasting now fasting doesn't only have benefits for your health and your physical body but it has benefits for your overall energetic body and fasting doesn't necessarily have to be with food fasting from social media fasting from people that do not align with you fasting from people who are no longer you know, aligning with the lifestyle that you want to live is crucial because fasting removes impurities from your body, but not only your body, your energetic field. So you can be an energetic match to the things that you truly want. Number two on my list is embody a new identity. This is the crucial steps to leveling up. You have to have a clear path on where you want to go. Where do you see yourself? Who do you want to be? Like, I recommend you right now, girl, get your journal, get you a journal and ask yourself these questions. So what I did, I had a plan, okay? And I'm going to read you out my plan and the questions that I asked myself so we can go along and do it together or you can do it after the video. But I'm going to tell you guys the questions that you, you need to be asking. This is going to make leveling up super easy and crystal clear in front of your face. So you're not overwhelmed. So these are the questions that I asked myself on this journey. Who do I want to be? So the first question that you need to identify is who do you want to be? So for me, I wrote, I want to be a full-time YouTuber who travels the world, shares her wisdom, and teaches. Because I've always wanted to be a teacher and teach, so that's what I wrote. But this is obviously going to be unique to you. And then I wrote, what career goals do I have or what career do I have? So this is going to be different for everyone, of course. So that is the next question I asked myself. And the thing is with these questions is that when you're in like a creative flow state, usually the answers come straight off the top. Like the first thing that comes to your head is usually the answer. And then another question I asked is what are your money plans? What is your income looking like? 
Okay, and then the next question is family plans. What does my family look like? How is my relationship with my family? And then the last one I have here is living plans or living situation. And whatever you come up with during that creative writing is what you're going to be embodying, okay? I know not everything can be achieved overnight, but some characteristics of your future self can be embodied today. So if you want to be more articulate, for example, try reading. Like every single day for 30 minutes, read, especially out loud because it challenges your brain. I used to struggle with reading out loud and it is a struggle. Like, oh, I talk a lot, but I learned to tune myself out. Now, this is the key thing that I want to talk about. This is the secret for leveling up. I want you to look at life as a video game. For example, if you are stuck on level 10, it does not matter. Like, you know when you're playing Super Mario, it's called, with the, Mar with the coins and stuff? So imagine you're playing Mario Run. You're getting the coins, you're achieving these little achievements, but you still can't beat level 10. So what I'm trying to say is the material stuff does not matter. Social media loves to fool us and make us think that like the only way for us to level up is to level up maybe financially or maybe like materially or maybe like get new clothes, new hairstyle, all that stuff like that. Now that does help. That does help along the journey and I will be mentioning that and talking in depth in my other tips because without that you cannot move on to the next level but if you keep repeating the same mistakes that you made you will not be moving on to level 11 you will be stuck on level 10. if you keep making the same mistake you know you can't slay that dragon you keep on making the same mistakes you will not be moving on to level 11. you will not be leveling up to another level essentially how to level up is learn the lessons that are thrown at you or given to you and do not repeat the same cycles, patterns, or mistakes. Because every time people get thrown or we get thrown with obstacles, we love to sit, reflect. The number one reason why a lot of people are stuck, same mentality, you know, same situations is because they stick on and hold on and grip on to the past. The past does not exist. And it's a human thing to, to stick and hold on to the past because that is what we've known. That's all we know because the future is yet to come. The future is like the unknown. So like we can't hold on to the unknown because we don't know what's happening. So a lot of people hold on to the past. And that is the main reason why we get stuck is because of the past. But we have to understand that it does not exist anymore because it has no value. You'll be mad at yourself based on things that you did in your childhood or when you were like a baby. And you have to understand you were a baby. You didn't know any better. So we can't hold on to the past. And that's what keeps a lot of us stuck. So this is the main component here is letting go of the past, learning from the lessons, don't repeat the same lessons, learn from them and use that to slay your dragon and beat level 10. Now, here's what does matter. Your physical health really does matter because I believe health is wealth and how you feel about yourself reflects out into the world. So if you're feeling shitty about yourself, you know, subconsciously people can pick up on that. And it's not hard to tell when someone doesn't take care of themselves or treat themselves with love. So it's easy to tell. So here's what we're not gonna do. We are not going to be treating ourselves like shit anymore we're not doing it we're not so we are going to make some physical changes and these physical changes are for anybody in any tax bracket any whatever these are physical changes that every single person can do even if you're a dog a cat a hamster you can do this too your dog can do this number one go on some sort of detox or fast so if you haven't done a detox ever in your life this is your time to start one it is such an amazing and beautiful journey. So there's a lot of different types of detoxes and fasts. Um, this is recommended because you are going to be purging and letting go of the impurities. Uh, any poison, any disease, any trapped, even emotions in your body will be released while fasting. So there is a water fast, there's a fruit fast, and there's um, intermediate. Is it called intermediate fasting? 
yeah intermediate fasting where you fast on certain days there's herbal tea fast there's so many kinds of fast a fruit fast is really simple you're going to choose one fruit and you're going to fast for five days on that fruit so the fruits that i like to use are watermelon cucumber and any like melons because it's still going to hydrate your body but it's also going to be clearing out any of that waste because it's high in water content and it's going to have you on that toilet getting all of that skunk out of your body so i think watermelon honestly for me at least is like the best form of fruit to fast on in my opinion and then a water fast is quite simple you're just fasting on water for five days and that and i can make a more in-depth video on that because i realize it's a whole different topic but and i have to like really advise you guys before i recommend fasting because you have to prepare for it but that is just you know things that i've done to overall level up and it has been such a beautiful journey for me not only losing weight and just feeling my best mentally it really is really divine and really sacred so i do recommend that and then we have working out if you guys cannot invest in a gym membership that is fine if you have space in your home you can do any sort of workout i was looking I don't know i was really crazy i wanted to what is this called like you know back in the 80s where people would wear like those little funky little workout stuff i went on youtube and i'm like i want to work out like people in the 80s so i searched up like 80s workout video like aerobics and i did that in my room and i was having so much fun i didn't realize i was sweating and burning all these calories like it was so much fun so working out doesn't have to necessarily you know cost that much for you you know, find something that you love, even sports, you know, you know, get a walk in, hiking. It's so imperative and so important. It essentially is super, super easy, but social media and just people nowadays want to overcomplicate everything and it should not be complicated. If you treat life like a video game, then leveling up will be a walk in the park. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And also we just hit 300 so that's cute i love it thank you guys so much for joining this community guys bye